In this tutorial in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018, we're going to show you how to use the style option when you're creating your own text in expert mode. To begin to create your own text, you click on the text option at the very top and then choose new text. Now we're going to pick the default text. The two below it are motion texts. We'll deal with those in another lesson. So we click default text. It will pop it up in the middle of the screen. And then we'll highlight it so we can change the name of it. Instead of add text, we'll call this American flag. So I'll click on it. And once I'm done with that, I can click on my mouse pointer in the text tab on my adjustments layer over here. And I can move it with the handles anywhere I want. I can resize it simply by clicking on this box and changing the number. Or I can resize it by dragging across the box. You see the number enlarge, or I can simply drag the corner and I can change both the height or width, the proportions uh, physically if I want to on the screen with my mouse. Now we have a lesson on how to deal with all the characteristics in the text tab. Now we're going to switch over to show you something about the style tab. When I click on the style tab I discover that Premiere Elements 2018 literally gives me hundreds of styles that I can pick from. And to pick a style all I have to do is click on it. It will give me uh, the name of the font and it will give me other features. For the example, this one has a yellow outline. This one has a yellow glow. Uh, this one it has a gradient text. What we, what we could do is we can go through all of these features here and we can change it to any one of the literally more than 200 fonts that are available in Adobe Premier Elements 2018. But there's more to it than that. You notice this one happens to say that it has a border on it. This one has a shadow on it. Let's look at how to modify any of these. Let's take one with a border. And then I'm going to go back into my text tab and click on my color option. This gets me to my properties, but it's more than that. What this gives me is what's called a stroke value. Whenever a font has a border, it will be given a stroke value. When you create your own fonts without using the presets, this, this will be all grayed out. So if I want to change the value here in the stroke, I click on it and it tells me now I have a white border. If I want to change the border to a different color, I simply can ch click on it over here and pick the color I want and now I've just changed the border. I can also change the uh, other features about the border, the stroke as it's called. I can change the weight of it and make it thicker. And I can also add things like a drop shadow if I want or take the drop shadow off. I can change the color of the face of the letters. That's your fill character. And uh, we can fill this maybe with this color here. And so we can make all these adjustments. Uh, once we get that started, I can also even change the, um, the font family here. Let's go to Alien Encounters. And again, we can resize it and do all kinds of things that we want to. We'll change it back to this one over here. So when you get a style that you kind of like, remember, you're not stuck with that. It's just the beginning of what you can do. Uh, you can take the style and you can take the options in the style. Let's take this one here and we see this has a shadow in it. So go, we'll go back to our text tool and our color tool and then we have uh, the drop shadow. We can change the distance of the shadow. We can change the angle of the shadow. More about this in the previous lesson. Or we can turn the shadow off completely. So we have s several things that we can modify once we pick a style that we think, well, this is where we'd like to start. But remember, you don't have to end where you start. You can go ahead and say, I like everything about this except the font. Well, simply go back to the text option and go to a different font. 
and boom, you're done. It's a real nice feature on how you can start with a style, any one of the huge, in the huge selection given here, modify the font to your heart's content, and then tweak it. Another thing I'd like to remind you of is that you can create more than one text box on a page. All you need to do is move to the text tab. On the mode, you can click whether it's horizontal or vertical. Most of the time it'll be horizontal. I highlight that and then I can click here in the, in the page and type uh, uh, flying uh, in the wind. And now I can go back and I can actually add another style to that to make that different. And again, I can go back to my text tool and my color palette. Uh, so you have no limit to how many particular texts you can add on your screen using this tool in Premiere Elements 2018.